So there's a fair amount of equipment that you'll see lined up outside the rooms. And this is an example of one of the most crucial pieces of equipment in our NICU. This is a, what we call an isolette. Many people know it as an incubator. And this is a, a piece of equipment that keeps a baby warm. When babies are born small, they have difficulty maintaining their own body temperature. This is because they don't have as much fat, and they also have a fair amount of surface area compared to how small their body mass is. They lose a lot of heat through their skin. And so this piece of equipment um, helps keep a baby warm. One of the big jobs that babies have while they're here in the NICU is to grow and get big enough to be able to go home. And so every single day babies are weighed. Some days babies will lose weight, other days they'll gain weight as long as they continue to grow um, over the course of their stay here, um, then they get big enough to be able to go home. These are an example of two of our um, breast milk pumps. Mothers are encouraged, if possible, to breastfeed their infants once the infants are ready to feed. But even prior to that, mothers prepare for uh, a, a NICU stay and um, by, by pumping their breast milk and storing it. We have storage facilities here with freezers and refrigerators. They're hospital grade pumps and um, they help get the maximum amount of breast milk out for an infant who is going to be uh, fed either by bottle or by tube while they're here in the NICU. And we also encourage direct breastfeeding um, when babies are ready to directly breastfeed from their mothers. There's a special pumping room. Many mothers choose to pump just in the room with their babies. This is an example of an unusual piece of equipment you may not have seen before, but is used all the time in our NICU. It's called a transilluminator. It has a long tube here with a light at the end. And we use this in order to be able to see um, veins and be able to place IVs and be able to do blood draws more easily. When I shine the light here, you can see my vein and therefore it would be easier to, to draw blood from me. This is even more true of small babies where we shine a light through and we can see their veins more easily and hopefully avoid excessive needle sticks. So when babies are admitted to the neonatal ICU, they commonly um, are um, first placed on warming tables here. These are radiant warming tables. Uh, radiant heat is provided um, here externally. It's actually thermostatically controlled and determined by the skin temperature of the baby um, here. These babies are all monitored um, and the warming table allows us to more easily assess them than would be allowed if swaddled in a crib or brought immediately into an incubator. If the babies require any specific procedures like the placement of a breathing tube or uh, the placement of catheters, either peripheral IVs or catheters in the umbilical vessels, um, that can more easily be done on these warming tables as well. This is a ventilator. Many people know of a ventilator as a respirator, but it's the same thing. And this is the monitor for the ventilator. Many times we talk to families about babies who need to have some help with breathing. We mentioned that they need to be intubated. What that means is that we're putting this tube into the baby's mouth to help with breathing. Often we give medicine down that breathing tube in order to help the lungs um, be able to handle the oxygen that is being delivered through the ventilator. That medicine is called surfactant and most of our premature babies who need to be intubated or get the breathing tube receive that medicine. I wanted to show you this infant for two reasons. The first is that the baby's under phototherapy. And that is this blue light that you can see over the baby's isolette or incubator. And we use phototherapy when a baby's bilirubin level is a little bit higher than normal. And it also it refers to a baby who's jaundiced, um, who's yellow. Uh, and that's actually from the bilirubin level being too high. Most of our premature infants do get jaundice or have a high bilirubin and need some phototherapy. It's uh, not something to be alarmed about if you see your baby underneath a phototherapy light. The second reason I want to show you this baby is that sometimes babies need a ventilator to breathe with the breathing tube, but other times babies just need some help with keeping their lungs open by some air that we um, deliver by the nose. And this is called CPAP or continuous positive airway pressure. And we may tell you that your baby needs CPAP. And all this is is a, 
an apparatus that comes down around the baby's side of the face and then there are tubes that are placed inside the nose that deliver air and open up the baby's lungs and help the baby breathe. This is a typical monitor and a monitor monitors a number of aspects of a baby's health and well-being. The first one is the heart rate and so that's this green line up here. The next one is the baby's oxygen level, which is here. We also will use phrases like pulse ox or sats to identify oxygen level. The next one is the respiratory rate, this white line here. And that's picking up how often the baby's chest is rising in terms of breathing. And I think probably the most important thing about the monitor for families to know is that the monitor can have a lot of alarms that go off. And that's to let the nurse know that it's time to come in and make sure that the baby's doing okay. Often, the monitor will make an alarm noise, but the baby's fine. And so we always encourage families to look at the baby, make sure the baby looks pink, and that's more important than the monitor. The monitor's kind of a signaling device for the nurse to come in and look at the baby, but it doesn't necessarily mean there's something wrong with the baby. Um, additionally, we can look at this baby's monitor, but then we also can monitor another baby on the same monitor. And this is important because often a baby will have a nurse who is also taking care of a baby in another room. And so she can pull, the nurse can pull up your baby or this baby's information on another baby's monitor so that the nurse can watch more than one baby at one time.